let's make biscuits. Before you do anything else, turn your oven on, preheat it to 180 degrees. If you don't know how to start your oven, ask your teacher straight away, don't forget. Read your recipe and make sure you know what ingredients you need. The first ingredients you'll use are going to be your butter and your brown sugar, so send one person from your team to go and get those straight away. Most dry ingredients like flour, you would scoop out of the container with a measuring cup and scrape off with something straight, like a knife, to get an accurate amount. Brown sugar is a little bit different because it sticks together. You have to sort of pack it into the measuring cup to get the, an accurate quantity. You'll notice the butter is already cut up into cubes and it's at room temperature. If yours is cold and in one piece, you need to cut it up into little pieces to let the temperature come up so it's not too hard to beat together. We're now going to use the electric beaters to mix together the butter and brown sugar in a process called creaming. The beaters you'll use at school are handheld ones, but the process is the same. scraping the sides of the bowl so that no chunks of butter stay stuck and everything gets mixed together. All right, it's all evenly combined now. All right, we're going to break our egg into a small bowl and add our vanilla essence. And we're just going to lightly whisk that together, or fork it together. All right, I'm gonna add the egg and vanilla to the creamed butter and sugar mixture. And then with the beaters on a low speed, I'm gonna combine that together. It's all evenly combined now. You'll have to scrape the excess mixture off the beaters. Be fussy here and make sure you actually get it all. We don't want to waste food. Now we're going to use a wooden spoon to mix the flour in. You might want to do this a little bit at a time. Alright, your mixture should be uh, all evenly mixed together with no dry lumps of flour or anything else like that. Now it's time to start rolling your mixture into balls. We do this with your bare hands, which are of course extremely clean. The balls that you roll should be about that big. What's that? A little bit smaller than a golf ball. It's important that you make them all as close as possible to the same size so that they'll all cook at the same rate. If yours are a little bit bigger or smaller than someone else's, that doesn't matter, but you want yours to all be the same size. Spacing them out is pretty important. As they cook, what will happen is the butter will first melt and then the biscuits will all slump and spread out. So you've got to plan for that. Um, I've probably got more space around these than I really need, but if you don't, they will stick together. Which isn't that big of a problem really, but just makes them not look as nice. Now I'm just going around and making a little depression in the top of each biscuit, and that is where the jam is going to go. Think about uh, jam acting as a liquid because if your little divot in the top has a leak 
the jam will spill out and end up on your baking tray where it will burn, which again doesn't make them look very good. You can now add your jam. A common mistake is adding too much jam. It will melt and it will overflow and burn if you add too much. That might be too much, we'll see. If you spill some jam, clean it up before it goes in the oven. It'll make your life easier later on. Those are ready to go in the oven. Set a timer for 10 minutes and then have a look at them. All right, it's been 10 minutes, let's have a look. They look pretty good. So there you go, they're straight out of the oven. I think they're cooked pretty nicely. They're just a little bit golden brown. Uh, the jam didn't appear to overflow anywhere. This is raspberry jam, by the way, not the strawberry jam that your recipe calls for, so that's why it looks a little bit different. Now, when they're still hot, the biscuits will be really soft, so don't move them or they'll fall apart. Let them cool down for a few minutes first. And um, while you're waiting for that, get started on cleaning up your kitchen and washing up all of your equipment.